Now, as a part of our offering today, um, we are going to, in these next several weeks, actually, take a few moments just to share um, some messages about stewardship. Um, we're going to be talking uh, about various ministries and telling the sharing the stories about how we steward our um, gifts of time and talent and treasure. I had a bishop that I served under in um, California who used to say stewardship is everything we do after we say, I believe, I follow you, Jesus. Yes. So in that spirit, we're going to spend these next several weeks um, sharing those stories. And today we're going to be talking with Ken Marsh, who has led our effort over the last two years to become part of One Wake and to extend our ministry into a ministry of justice and uh, solidarity and walking with our neighbors around this county. So Marsh, I just, or Ken Marsh, I just want to make sure you're on the call. I am on. Yay, thank you. Good morning, St. John's. <laughs> So Ken has um, is the is the lead of our um, core team here at St. John's. There are about eight people who have been working over the last two years as part of that core team. So Ken, can you tell the, the parish a little bit more about um, One Wake and why what what it does, why we wanted to join it? I can. Uh, One Wake is a uh, broad-based organization uniting about 42 institutions, multi-faith, nonpartisan partners that have really come together to work with our elected officials, uh, business and other civic leaders to make life better for ourselves and for our neighbors in concrete ways. One Wake priorities are defined through thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations with ordinary people, such as we did at St. John's, all across the county. And the priorities of One Wake are currently working towards more affordable housing, a living wage, more living wage jobs, and issues of equity in our public schools. And Ken, can you um, share a little bit about why you personally got involved in this ministry? Sure, I'd be glad to. Once I saw the collective nonpartisan approach of church leaders working with community leaders to solve community problems for those who are disenfranchised, I was hooked. As you know, I recently retired as a former mental health social worker, and one way it gives me an outlet as part of my church work, but also my professional passion in retirement. It is that community organization and service work to make our collective community a better place for all individuals. I saw this with One Wake sister organization, Durham Can, and I heard it the other night in One Wake's launch meeting, where both John Kane, the commercial real estate developer, and the mayor of Raleigh, Mary Ann Baldwin, both said how they really like One Wake approach them in a collaborative way of identifying issues in effort to working together and finding solutions for the greater good of our community. And in that collective spirit of love, I believe this is our way to continue building our beloved community. Thank you. And um, maybe you can say a little bit too about uh, whether you think this, is, this represents good stewardship of our resources at St. John's, our time, our talents, and our finances. I definitely do. At St. John's, we historically have been working on these very same issues, Habitat for Humanity, Backpack Buddies, the Summer Nutrition Program, as a part of our giving of our time and talents. And we should continue this work. One week is really an extension of that work working with other churches, nonprofit groups, and organizations. It really gives St. John's a larger footprint to leverage our love and our ministry with policymakers and leaders in Wake Forest and in Wake County on a broader scale that benefits the individuals we are serving for the long term. This is a continuation of our collective ministry in action. 
creating a beloved community, working with people who come from every ethnic group, income level, and faith perspective in our county. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 through 40, you may remember a lawyer asking Jesus a question to test him. And he said, teacher, which commandment is the greatest law? And Jesus said to him, you shall love your, your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbors as yourselves. And through your stewardship and giving, this ministry of One Wake in action with St. John's is loving our neighbors as ourselves with multi-faith organizations to enrich the lives of our neighbors in need. Ken, thank you so much. And you may not know it, but you're a prophet. That passage that you just quoted is our scripture for the for our uh, service next Sunday. <laughs> 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 it is also um, the core of the life that we um, have entered into when we say yes to Jesus. And so all that we do and all that we are um, is, is what we offer when we say yes. So thank you for saying yes, Ken, and for to St. John's for saying yes to be a part of this larger work, to walk with our neighbors and to seek justice and uh, the well-being of all. Thank you.